So this is the start of our Vivaro journey. There she is. Tracy spotted this yesterday and it was just too good and now it's sold. So we'll give you a little tour of the van. This is the first time Tracy's driven it so it'd be nice for her to see what's what it's like. Yeah, she's beautiful. There we go. This is the long wheelbase. It's already uh, a crew cab, so the windows are already in. Oh, if you can uh, do the honours. We're still figuring everything out. Super. There we go. Okay, obviously this is all going to come out. These seats, which are they're fantastic actually, but we don't need them. So we'll be moving them on. And if I can hand over to you, Tracy. That's all right. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Cheers. So I didn't know it did that. That's quite yeah. This van hasn't worked hard at all. All it's done is um, carry tea, coffee, sugar, as you can see there, um, sponges. Toilet paper, light bulbs, that is all that's carried. Um, so it has never lifted any heavy weights at all, which is it's fantastic. Until we get it. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. So the plan is. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Living proof. Uh, the plan is that we'll um, have the, the, the sofa and the bed system at the back. <laughs> There's a nice recess here and on the other side which I'm, I'm going to utilise, so that'll be good. And there's also some little extras there that we didn't know about, a cigarette lighter thingy there, that's good. And then these will come out, look at getting a swivel on those double seats, they are expensive but they're really good seats. And then we could maybe look at getting a, a table that pulls out on that. Um, but it's all very nicely finished. Um, the cab is great. Um, I don't know if you want to go inside with the camera. I'll join you on that side. She's got everything. She's got sat nav, Bluetooth, all singing, all dancing, um, media player, everything that we want on that. Nice little features like great little uh, things for holding your phone and stuff like that. Would That will come in very handy because a lot of the times we use our phone as a sat nav as well. There's really good storage here. here. There's extra storage there which is good for like things like vehicle documents, you know, stuff like that. Uh, when we're travelling abroad, obviously a good space there. Again, plenty of points there where you can use charge. Pull out features there. Your little cups also it's got I believe yeah a cup holder there or and also on the other side as well it's got air con it's got everything everything that we need and it's got a six-speed box as well um, it's just a really good solid vehicle AJ. yeah there we are uh, yeah, as Tracy said, the front end is really attractive on it, it's very nice. And uh, it's a 1.6 turbo, isn't it? 1.6 turbo. Um, yeah, really nice to drive, very pokey. Um, yeah, looking forward to just getting it all nice and clean. So, the height for me won't be too bad to make the road and stuff. Yeah, that's it. Um, yeah. No, it'll be good. It'll be good. No, yeah, that's it. 
here for your if you want to have a little stool or something. Slides out and you've got your window. And that pops back. So that's a pull and then across. Yeah, I figured that out. Yeah, nice. Yeah. And that's saved as a packet, not having to just This is the space I've got to work with, so I'm going to strip it first, get all the stuff out. It's got bulkhead seats in the front, which I'm going to do away with, and uh, get the fan basically from the front seats back, get it all empty, like a shell, and then me and Tracy are going to uh, format what we think um, is the right way to go about building it. I know she wants the bed across the back, so that's a given and all the workstation and unit stuff of that because it's got two side doors so we'll make a start get this thing out This van has done very little heavy wood. Oh god, this is going to be easy. Done very little hard work. It lived on a campsite and it delivered toilet paper and coffee sachets. Surely that can't be it. There we go. All right, okay. It delivered sponges too. couple of bolts here, one there, riveted, and then whatever fastenings are on the floor, and then that's the bulkhead out. As I said earlier, this, uh, this van came from a campsite, and it just delivered coffees and various things, but I just had a little look down there and look. Lots of okay. Duck Island, London. So is it duck wash? Classic conditioner. That's a fair bit. Well, not a bad little haul. Are you having a are you having a shower then, duck? <laughs> Little point to note. The bolts. The nuts are welded. You don't need to worry about getting behind it. With a spanner. Just go straight in with a 19mm.
time lapse and video music like has become common with a lot of builds on YouTube. This will be just really for people who just want to see what it's like to build. Okay, all the bolts from the uh, fastenings, they're all undone. Um, it's just a case of all of these pop rivets now. I'm going to drill them. Uh, when you're taking this out, there's an earthing strap there. So you're going to have to either cut that um, and also just at the bottom there at the front seats there's a just a, it's just like a, a seal just it's just pushed together it's just two pieces of sticky tape once that's done just the whole bulkhead starts to come away that is where the uh, cigarette lighter and earth so all I've done is isolated that, put some block on it to keep the wires protected and now that cowling should be ready to come out. To get these seats out now, there's a plastic cowl in. I'm guessing. There you go. That allows me to get to these pop rivets here now. So those three pop rivets are drilled, she just comes away nice and easy. Marketplace and get them sold. I've got the van all stripped out now. Um, what I'm going to do before I put the uh, insulation, the dials, plastic wool, Tracy bought these, the sound deadening pads. Uh, I've never never bothered using them at all um, but she bought them because uh, she thought it might help so all do just size it up see where it's going to go and go anywhere along here so I'm just going to basically randomly put them there self adhesive we peel them off just place them onto there and just push that into place. There you go. I'll do the same on the other side. Thank you. 
careful because there's loads of little sharp edges which are just dying to uh, cut your fingers. A couple of these up here. You can cut these down easy enough as well. They fit just nice on the door there. Remember what I said about cutting yourself. cavity here that I want to fill all the way to the back there so straighten that out up to there fit straight in. That's what this side looks like once I've put the insulation in. Just a little piece needed down there. Tear up like that, comes apart dead easy. Really good stuff. Plenty of air and warmth gets into that and it's great for sealing off a cold wall. Get a spray down there. And all you do is just fire that in. Like so. That's it, she's in, she's stuck. And then anywhere where there's needed a little bit more, just pop it in like that. Just put that last piece in there. Like so spreads out nice. There you go. Stretch it. That's it. Close that up there. And then down that way. The dials will still let the air flow around. Like that. There you go. That's nice in that corner area now. This part here, just get little pieces, tear it off, push it in, and then you can either use a screwdriver or whatever, and you can just force it down. Keep pushing a little piece in, like that, and then just work it down. Okay, that's as far as I'm going to get today with this video. Obviously, so we've got the sound deadening in all around, and we've pushed the insulation in there. So the next thing I need to buy now is carpet and some plyboard. And I'll make a start on cutting the window shapes out like so there for the ply and the ply for that side right that's another job jobbed tune in for the next video thank you very much <laughs>